Today more than ever, charts and graphs have become an important communications tool for all types of businesses. Graphics can communicate in an instant what it takes hours to interpret from printouts or other raw data. Until recently, however, high quality graphics were too expensive and too time consuming for most people to produce on a constant basis. But today, the strobe graphic system has changed all that. Superb quality hard copy graphics and transparencies are now within the budget of the personal computer owner. The strobe graphic system allows you to create a wide variety of charts, graphs, and diagrams directly from the data files of your microcomputer. The system is easily interfaced with almost every major personal computer manufactured today. The components of the system consist of a strobe model 100 digital plotter, an interface for your computer, an extensive software library, and a variety of pens, paper, and transparency film. In short, everything you'll need to create your own graphics. Here's how the system works. When your strobe graphics system arrives, the first thing you must do is connect your interface to your microcomputer. There are two types of interfaces that are supplied with the plotter, parallel interfaces and serial interfaces. There are a variety of different parallel interface cards available with the strobe model 100 system. Uh, in each case, uh, both ends of the cables have keyway slots on it. So when you plug it in, it can only be plugged in one way. Another type of parallel interface card is one that actually is installed inside the microcomputer. The one I have here is for the Apple. This interface card is plugged inside slot three of the microcomputer. And the other end, similar to the other parallel interface card, is plugged into your plotter. The interface card itself can be configured for any number of microcomputers. The other type of interface card that's supplied with the plotter is a serial interface. This interface is located outside the microcomputer. It has a standard RS-232C cable which plugs into the appropriate port on your microcomputer. On the Osborne, for example, it plugs into the front of the computer. On the Xerox, it plugs into the back. The other end of the interface is similar to the parallel interfaces and is plugged into the back of the plotter. Once your interface card is installed, your power is turned on, you're now ready to boot up your system. You load your software into your floppy disk system, and it has an automatic boot system. Switch on your microcomputer, and you're now ready to begin making beautiful charts, presentations, and visuals for your meetings and other plotter uses. With your computer booted up, your power turned on for your plotter, and these switches in the down position, you're now ready to load your paper and your pins. Insert your paper beneath the stainless steel clamp, move it back and forth just a little bit to make sure that it's inserted the right length, rotate the drum, insert the paper in the other edge of the stainless steel clamp, gently push it together to make sure that it's into the right length, and you're finished loading the paper. There are a variety of different kinds of pins the plotter can be used with, uh, pilot razor point, Bic, Barol type. The, the type of pin that's shipped with a plotter is a pilot razor point. When you get the pin, there will be no threads on the soft shank of the pin. So the first thing you do is load your pin by inserting it through the self-threading pin holder. This will put threads on the end of the shank of the pin. Insert the pin until the edge of the pin is, is in a, aligned with the edge of the stainless steel clamp. So when you rotate the drum, similar to this, the edge of the pin will just barely touch the stainless steel clamp.
we're going to show you is the actual demonstration and running of a bar chart followed by a pie chart using test data that are already loaded into the program. The bar chart will come first. change the pen to another color. Take the paper off and you have your completed multicolored graph. Most of the graphics we've shown here so far have really been involved with business or mathematical related graphics. However, it is also possible to design a variety of graphics for special visual communication devices or just simply graphic designs that are pleasing to the eye. This particular program does a series of individual graphic designs depending on the birth date of the user. The demonstration disc is available when you purchase your strobe plotter. One of the added benefits of the strobe graphics system is the ability to make all the charts we've shown here today on transparencies. It's possible to produce beautiful pie charts, as I've shown here, directly on transparency paper in a very few minutes for your business meetings and seminars. In a few short minutes, we have produced all the charts shown here. The strobe graphics system comes complete with all the tools that you need to make professional business quality graphics. When the strobe graphic system is interfaced to your computer, a sheet of paper can speak anyone's language instantly. Talk to your local dealer and learn how to start charting your fortunes today because a perspective on the present can also be your window on the future.